morning. It's been a little bit. I'm going to kind of jump straight in today to this. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to DIY um, an Acuity website for scheduling for hairstylists, lash techs, um, you know, all of the, all of the things. So I'm going to be showing you step-by-step step how to create this. So this would be for someone who's wanting to do it themselves, or if you're wanting to start a business selling templates, this is a great niche to get into. It's super low competition because it does take a little bit more work to create these, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, um, if you want to jump to like really get them listed quickly, I do sell templates for acuity. I will link those up down below at there at mwco.shop. So I will definitely link those up. Make sure to stay tuned to the end if you want to kind of hear the details of what is happening next on this channel, some of the upcoming videos. Um, as always, make sure to like and subscribe and all those things. Um, you guys are amazing. We hit 5,000 subscribers last week. For those of you who don't know, my name is Wendy Jo and I teach you how to earn passive income from home. Specifically, we've really been diving into how to create digital products to sell because it's a great stream of passive income. Um, all right, well, we're gonna jump in. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna share my screen with you. I'm gonna share inside of Canva exactly how I create my templates and um, you can take this and run with it yourself or again, you can grab one of my free downloads. All right, you guys, inside of Canva, we are gonna create a custom template that is 2000 by 1000. And the size is because you can't upload too big of a picture inside of Acuity. It has a size file limit or file size limit. So you wanna make sure that they're 2000 by 1000. And then when you download them, you can either, if you have Pro, you can resize them or if you don't have Pro, then you can use an image resizer on the internet. Um, I recommend if you want to not resize them, the 2000 by 1000, if you download them as JPEGs, they will typically work without having to resize them. But again, you can use a resizer. I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, for this particular design, I actually used the Magic Media inside of Canva just to create an AI image of a girl uh, with long, beautiful hair because I didn't have one picked out for this design. So I thought I would show you how to do that. So that's the first thing is you're going to just put an image there if you're designing of either. Um, so if you're creating these for yourself, then you're gonna put a picture of either yourself or of someone's hair you've done, obviously with permission to use them on your website. Um, if you are selling templates, then you're just going to put a random person there. Just to make sure that you have the rights to use the image in your designs. Uh, so I used an AI created image for this example and um, I think it turned out pretty well. So then the next thing I do is just decide on font style and kind of layout. So I went with a mixture of cursive and print, which I like to do. I feel like it just kind of creates a nice uh, flow and aesthetic. And so once I kind of decided on the two fonts, then what I do is I reuse those fonts throughout the entire document to keep things cohesive. and. The process of designing and creating is really just that. It is a process. You can see I do a lot of adding, deleting, moving around, trying to figure out what I want everything to look like, um, what I want the flow to look like, et cetera. And then once I kind of decide on that, then I can duplicate that throughout the entire document. For this template, I use eight separate slides and um, make it just kind of flow like that. I feel like it's pretty easy to include all of the information that you need to include without it being over the top on Acuity. So, um, so once I got that determined, then the next thing I do is add the booking policies to my templates because I think it's important to keep those like important elements to the top, like things that people want to know when they come to your website, which is, you know, how much am I going to pay for a deposit? What is the cancellation policy if I have changed my mind or whatever? Um, so those I put near the top and you'll notice that I did put like the before booking, please read all the provided information on that little piece of paper in the first slide, because when we upload this, it's actually going to all flow together and look as if it's like one long piece of paper kind of. So, um, um, that is why I try to add elements that go together on separate slides from each other so that it all kind of feels more cohesive. So here I'm just fast forwarding through a lot of this, but it is just adding all of those policies. And so I'm adding the, um, you know, payment policy, the um, late 
late fees, late policy, the cancellation policy, and then obviously a refund policy, just so people know right off the bat kind of what's going on. So um, this is the second slide, and this is just kind of me, again, the creative process of moving things around and making sure everything flows nicely. Um, again, you can completely create these from scratch or you can use my templates and they come, like this is one of the templates that I sell, and then you can just go in and make the edits to colors, fonts, whatever you want to do to use. Um, or I do some, sell them with PLR license, which means that you can actually create your own multiple different layouts from these and sell them as your own. So. Um, so next, I'm moving on to the next slide, and then I decided I liked adding shadows to the words, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna add some shadows to this paper as well, just to add a little bit more depth, which you do that by hitting edit photo, and then you hit shadow, and I just do a glow, and I changed the glow to a black, and then the transparency down so that it was, you know, added a lot of depth there. So then I copied, again, the fonts from up top and added the next section, which is my business hours and then just kind of played around a little bit more with colors because I realized I wanted that same peachish brown color to be in that middle slide as well, just to keep that color flowing throughout. So once I did that, then I again copied and pasted text so that it would be in the same font and started adding in all the business hours. And again, this is kind of a trial and error. Like as you're typing, you're remembering that all of this is going to flow as if it is one big long page when you upload it to Acuity. And so, you know, spacing is important as you do this to make sure that it looks correct when you upload it. Um, and so I, once I kind of added everything in, I realized I need to change this up a little bit. I want it to be in a different space. So I changed the font sizes. You don't wanna go below a 24 font for Acuity just because most people are doing this from their phone and you don't want the font to be so little that they cannot read it when they're on their mobile device. So once I kind of got that situated, I liked that the way that it looked better and so uh, moved all that up to the first slide. Then I put that little tiny one to the next one just to keep the flow going again. Then we move to the next section, which was important information. And then this is a section where you're really just gonna add um, things that are important to your particular business. So if you do hair, then you're going to add, you know, how they should come. Should their hair be clean? Um, should there be product in it? Should it be straightened? Should it be blow dried? All those types of things. Um, you know, you can talk about add-ons here. You can talk about um, if you're doing um, a wig or extensions, then those types of details. So this is where you're gonna just add all of that important information. Um, I do it in three columns, but you can obviously go in and do just one paragraph, kind of just personal preference on this. Um, but this is kind of how I do the layout. And again, you can see there's a lot of just adjusting, moving around, making sure that everything looks right, that it's the right size, that it's legible. And again, just, you know, aesthetically adding a little color here and there so that everything works together. And you can see I moved those around because that add-ons was longer and so I wanted it to flow a little bit better. So um, again, just copying and pasting here so that I could add reviews. And then I went back up into the section and added payment information so that um, people know how to pay whenever they check out. So that's important. So I added just the blocks showing that they can pay with the different ways. And um, these, you know, you can add blocks and then you can add color to them. You can remove the color from them. You can change the trim on those blocks to make them stand out or flow with your color theme, kind of whatever you want to. And I went in and I added eight and then I realized um, there's only six forms of payment really that most people accept. And so I ended up taking out two of them and rearranging and making it flow. So again, just keeping that flow going so that it looks nice and cohesive. And so basically that is it. And you just kind of add all of that important information in there. And then once you have done that, um, I'm gonna actually take you over and show you how to upload this to Acuity. So when you go inside of Acuity, you're going to hit customize appearance. And um, 
basically, whenever you first have an Acuity site, it's just going to be pretty blase. It's just this white with just the scheduling hours. And so this really helps to add that pizzazz to the website and gives your customer all the information. We've talked before about how people are very visual. So you're going to download these as either PNGs or JPEGs. If you download them as JPEGs, you can probably keep them the size they are. Um, if you download them as PNGs and you have Pro, you're going to want to resize them down to 1500 by 750. If you don't have Pro, you can use a free website that resizes images and you can resize them after you download them if you need to do that. You hit that image inside of Acuity and you're just going to start uploading each of those images that you downloaded from Canva. Um, you'll notice there's a little space between each image, so I make sure my cursor is to the left and then I hit the backspace or delete button just to delete the space between the slides so that we have the nice flow like that. And you can see that you just add each image. Do remember when you download these from Canva, they're gonna be in a zip file. So before you start this process, you're going to want to unzip that file and then you'll have access to all of the images. And so once you have added all eight of the images in there, then you can hit that save button down at the very bottom and you can kind of preview it first, but before you exit, you have to hit save changes or you'll lose everything. And then this is what it looks like whenever it is fully uploaded. And I do, I love the way that it flows like that. So um, again, that template is completely customizable. So you could change colors. You can obviously change the picture in there and those types of things, but um, you know, it would change your contact information and uh, you would be good to go. And again, um, when you download them, there'll be that zip file. And if you do need to resize them, just search image resizer. And there's a whole bunch of them out there that are completely free to use. So if you need to resize something, that's how you do it. Let's take a look really quickly on Etsy and I'll show you just a couple of sites that are selling and there's a lot of bestsellers. And again, the competition is super low on these, you guys. Um, here's a bestseller and if I hit analyze listing, this one in particular is making over $1,000 a month. And um, there are more examples. Some are making a few hundred a month. Here's another one that's for a nail studio. It's in 20 plus carts and it is making over 300 a month. Of room for creativity in these and different niches that you can do. Here is an entire store that is all just Acuity websites. And you can see, you know, they've got pinks, browns, purples, grays, and blacks. And then they also target different um, audiences. So that is the whole process of creating and uploading your Acuity template to Acuity Scheduling website. Um, I hope that this helps you whether you are wanting to create your own for your own hair salon or whatever, or if you're wanting to start a business actually selling templates. Again, this is a really great niche to get into. Um, the competition is super low and the search volume is high, which is always a good indicator. Summing up, I am recording our uh, six month review of Shopify versus Etsy. If you haven't been watching that series, you can check them out here. I've just been doing this experiment for the last five months in showing you guys the difference between the two platforms and where you can make the most money and all the ins and outs of that. So um, the six month will be coming up. I'm also working on the Pinterest tutorial. I know we've talked a lot in the Shopify versus Etsy videos about how we drive traffic organically to our website. The most traffic comes from Pinterest, but I'm also going to jump into Google and SEO a little bit because um, even though the most traffic comes from Pinterest right now, the conversion and dollar amount, the highest is actually coming from Google, which is all organic. We don't pay for any ads. And so I'm also going to be doing a video on that. I'm not sure if I'm going to combine the two or if I'm going to do two separate videos on that. So make sure you've got those notifications turned on. If you don't already subscribe, I appreciate you guys so much. Again, we hit 5,000 subscribers uh, this last week. And so I'm really excited, even though we are still a small channel, um, I am excited that our reach is growing and the more you guys like and share and those types of things and comment, the more it helps other people to find my content, which on here is all free for you guys. So um, yeah, that's it for the day. Um, I will be back this next week with probably uh, probably release the six month this next week six month of Etsy versus Shopify and then either the same week or the following week I will release the Pinterest and Google SEO 
um, video as well. So stay tuned. <laughs>